In this video, we discuss diffuse axonal injury. Diffuse axonal injury is a devastating type of traumatic cerebral injury due to shearing stress primarily in the white matter. The brain parenchyma shears at the gray-white junction. Structures most vulnerable to shear are corticomedullary junctures, corpus callosum, and brain stem. It can be diffuse or focal. The DAI lesions are usually multiple, an elliptical shape. The long axis is parallel to the disrupted axonal tracts. Range in size from 5 mm to 15 mm. They can be either hemorrhagic or non-hemorrhagic. At CT, DAI lesions may be occult, especially when they are non-hemorrhagic. The hemorrhagic lesions with high attenuation petechiae may be evident at the CT scan. Background focal or diffuse cerebral edema is evident. The lesions are predominantly seen in the parasagittal frontal and the paraventricular parts of the temporal lobes, the peripheral parietal and occipital lobes, the cerebellum, and internal external capsules are other areas to look for. Mister imaging is preferred for the detection of axonal injury. Non-hemorrhagic axonal injury is hyperintense on T2-weighted and flare images. When hemorrhagic, axonal injury is hyperintense on T1-weighted images and hypointense on T2-weighted and T2-asterisk-weighted gradient recalled echo GRE, images. Restricted diffusion is seen on DWI. DAI tends to occur in three successive stages, progressively involving deeper structures with increasing severity of trauma. Stage 1 is characterized by loba white matter lesions at the gray-white junction. Stage 2 additionally shows posterior corpus callosal involvement, usually involving the splenium and posterior body. Stage 3 involves the dorsolateral brainstem in addition to stage 1 and 2 lesions. The outcome of axonal injury is frequently coma, with over 90% of patients with severe DAI never regaining consciousness. If you like the video, you can like it, comment it, and share it with your friends. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the bell button.